Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Matt and Emma here. What is up guys? For today's video, we are going to be trying the new summer menu from Starbucks. Yes, now Starbucks have just launched their summer menu and that includes a couple of summery drinks, some hot food and a bunch of sweet summer snacks. Although it's not very summery today. It's not very summery, but it's okay. We've had a lot of rain recently, so honestly, I, I would take a day like this over the past few weeks, any day. I will say when it is actually summer and the sun is like in full in force. full you know full wham these items do scream summer to me they do like they, they do. are very fitting summer so, flaves so should we get straight into the drinks because they are melting yes, and they look great what we have well let me get the uh receipty the receipts because we always forget what's what okay so what you have is a chocolate cuff coffee <laughs> good start a chocolate coffee crunch frappuccino oh baby looks good this looks great you can see there's whipped cream there and there's like a coffee crunch and then it's a sort of generally a coffee frap and there's little bits in it i think like chocolate bits and there's like oh it just looks great it looks really good it does and then i have got the caramel brownie frappuccino and it looks really good as well it they've does. done really well this one lots of toppings on there for this one, I actually went for almond milk and the vegan whipped cream, but the they did say to me that the sort of toppings and the stuff within it aren't aren't Not vegan. Not dairy free. Um, but just because I don't really like normal milk, I just went for this. But in general, if you are vegan, um, the bits in it aren't. Okay, where are the where are the straws? Where are the straws? She gave us straws. She right? definitely gave us straws. I feel like I might be sitting on them. I am sitting on them. Oh, a warm straw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's not happening. It happened at Burger King the other week. Uh, Okay. It's been a while since I had a frappuccino, you know. I have a love for frappuccinos. Yeah, we do like a coffee frap in it. But if we weren't filming this video today, I wouldn't have tried the new one, I don't feel. I, I like to sort of stick to what we know when it comes to frappuccino. World. Yeah, but that's what I mean. You know, trying these videos means you can't step yeah. out of your comfort zone a little bit. So, right. Cheers. Cheers. Starbucks frappuccino menu. Oh. That is mega. This is so good. Yeah, this is well good. Did you just say mega? Yeah, I've never said that When have you ever before. said that before in your life? Starting with the um, chocolate coffee crunch, right? It tastes like a chocolate milkshake with coffee and cream, and it is banging. Mm. This tastes like a chocolate bar, but I can't mm. put my finger on it. It's almost like a um, like a lion bar. Should we swap? Yeah. You're going to love that. That is so good. Is it coffee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's coffee there. It also was way heavier than mine. Oh, that's really strong with coffee. Oh. That's real good, it's too. Good, isn't it? I'm, I prefer my one. I prefer my one. Because I like coffee. So that works out well. This is so good. I want to get some of the crunchy bits. Mm -mm. Seriously good frappuccino. Because we often, we usually only get the, just the coffee frappuccino, just plain, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We never go yeah. for the fancy ones. But I think I would consider getting that again, especially I on would. a hot day. I would 100% really get that good. again. Should we get into the food? Should we start with the hot stuff? The one hot oh, thing? Oh, you've only got one hot stuff. I probably won't try that, to be fair. No, though. no, that's fair enough. So we've got one hot thing, guys, in the brand new Starbucks summer menu. And it's a bit of a weird one, I'll be honest with you. It is the shaved steak roll. <laughs> uh, it's a bit of a weird one, I think. It's something, once again, that I would definitely never normally get. It looks all right. But saying that, though, recently, when we've been doing these type of videos, all the hot food from Starbucks has really surprised me. It's been really top quality. You had the breakfast roll, didn't you, the other time? And it was really that good. That was good, yeah. yeah. So here is the shaved steak roll. Here we go. And let me show you inside. So in here, we've got obviously like some sort of steak slices. Hmm. Um, there's a little bit of onion. There is spinach. spinach and, some and some type of sauce. Like relish or something. Some type of relish. I don't know, get stuck into it. Go for it, yeah. Do you know what though? This is lovely. Is it? Yeah, very oh, good. nice. You were a bit skeptical about that. I was, I was but I'm mm, not sure about that. But this is actually really tasty. It's minimal. It is minimal, but there's the onion comes through, and that the chutney what they've got in the bottom there, mm. really decent. There you go. And the steak's nice. It's really thin, so it's almost like a roast beef almost. Do you know what I mean? That's why it's shaved because it's like mm. fine, finely sliced. Oh wow, that is really nice. What would you rate that? Um. I'd give that an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10? Why? Starbucks are so good though, aren't they? I mean, they, they really can are. Be. Yeah, they, you know, they've had their moments. They've had their moments. Oh, look at that dog's head sticking out the window. Oh, hello there. I'm going to rate this one. And I can't stress enough how usually I would not go for like the proper sweet ones. But this isn't actually overly sweet because it's still got that sort of 
I don't know. It's like creaminess to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably seven. Oh, really? I've got like, you know, eight. Eight out of ten. I was going to give the chocolate coffee crunch a nine out of ten. Really? It is banging, trust me. It is right up your street to be fair coffee. It's lovely. I'll give them the same. I'll, I'll give them both an eight. Okay. Okay, I'm going to give mine a nine and I'll, go, I'll, I'll say yours is definitely an eight. Okay. Right. So now we're getting to the... The good stuff, the main event. The summer menu is actually predominantly sweet. The new stuff. Yeah. Uh, there were a few other bits that we didn't get because they didn't have like there's like a plant pot, like a plant based protein pot. Mm. There were two different protein pots, one plant based, one not. But they didn't have those, so we've just gone from pretty much every single sweet thing that they have that's new. What we've got is the iced raspberry swirl. I'm Ooh, excited yeah. for that because their cinnamon swirl is good. The raspberry and white chocolate blondie. Mm. The strawberry and white chocolate shortbread. Very strawberry. Mm -hmm. Strawberry's very summer though, isn't it? Strawberry and cream cake, which is literally just summer in a cake, isn't it? Last but not least, we have... Oh, it would be the vegan oh, one. Oh, the coconut and lime cake, the plant-based new summer option that they've got. Okay. What a haul. What a haul. I think we should start with the shortbread. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So, yeah, strawberry and white chocolate shortbread. I do like a shortbread, but it isn't really my first choice, is I have, it? I often find that they're too buttery for me. And I know that's really obvious because shortbread you literally associate with like buttery biscuit. Mm. But sometimes they can overdo it they with can. the butter for me. But looks good. You need good. big flavour. That does look decent, decent to be Decent size. A proper handful. I love that it looks a bit rustic. It does. It's not like perfectly triangle. It doesn't look as crumbly as some shortbread where it's just like powder in your mouth. No, but it is like... I think it's a good amount. It is, yeah. It looks a little bit gooey almost. Hmm. So I like that. Subtle, subtle flavour. Mm. It's not like whoa, blow your socks off, but what's the crunch? Is it the white chocolate? White chocolate, yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah. That's only okay for me. Actually, the white chocolate and the strawberry does kind of like counteract the butteryness mm. of it. It's actually more tart. It is, yeah. But yeah, I agree. I mean, it's it's all right. But, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not blown away by that. No. I'd say only. All right. I actually think only maybe like a five and a half. You know. I was going to say a six. Like I don't. I wouldn't get it again. Not no. a return by for it's me. It's a respectable six for yeah, sure. Yeah. It's just 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 average. Yeah. Down the middle, roughly. What have we got going on? Should we? Let's go for the blondie, shall okay, we? It's yeah. similar. So it's raspberry and white chocolate. Wait, is the other one raspberry and white chocolate? Strawberry and white chocolate. So this one's raspberry and white chocolate blondie. This to me already looks better than the shortbread. It does, yeah. I, it I like a blondie. blondie. Ooh. It looks like a cake. It looks cakey, doesn't it? Yeah, this looks more like a cake. This bit looks proper cake like. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of got a cake vibe to it, right? It yeah, it's it a lot cakier. I wouldn't say this was like a blondie. Although a brownie is kind of like this. Maybe I'm just not remembering it right. Yeah, some 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 are. Oh, it smells like a Victoria sponge. It does. It smells nice. Oh, yeah. Mm. There's like a bottom layer of it that's mm. quite dense. And Crunchy. Nice. Mm. That tastes like a Victoria sponge to me. Mm. I kind of like the fact that that's like quite subtle. Mm. Can I have a tiny bit of that corner there? There's like a really like raspberry bit. The actual sort of blondie itself is really nice. It's kind of like fluffy, but also got that denseness of a brownie to it. At the bottom, right? Mm. And the white chocolate isn't overpowering at all. You can really taste the raspberry. Mm. Oh, I like that. That's really good. I don't often go for blondies. I'd usually choose a brownie over a blondie, but... Any day of the week. I'm going to give it a seven. I was going to say seven and a half. Mm. I'd like to try the coconut cake. Okay. Coconut and lime. Yes. Uh... So this is their only plant-based new one, I believe. I really do love coconut. And, well, just coconut in general, but anything coconut, limey. Oh. Okay. Okay. I might have to give this a little undress before we show you because it's packaged well. Lots of cream there on top. If you can hear like a whirring or like a, well, it's a laptop going in the back, it's because we're trying to process another video via hotspot because we are currently in Devon where we have no Wi Fi where we're staying and barely any signal. So it's going a bit mad back there. But Is it going? Just the battery's going now, yeah. it's not going up anymore. Well, hopefully that makes it up. Anyway, uh, okay, I feel like there's coconut in I hope there. so, I really hope so. Ooh. Ooh. 
It's filled. Yeah. Give me the. Oh. oh. I don't know if you can see the filling in there. You can. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I don't think I've ever really had coconut and lime together. It smells like a yeah. It smells, what is the um? You know, like lemon curd. It smells oh. like a lime curd type thing. Oh, okay. Buzzing for this. That is rather odd, isn't it? The the lime is like. That's so tart. I don't know. Mm. The texture of the cake is really different. It's nice. It's quite nice. That is a very summer flavour. Mm. Like that's a summer cake, mm -hmm. right? I reckon that cream's got to be coconutty or limey. Mm. No, that's good. You're good. It should be like that. It's very different. Very like, refreshing. It's really different, and the the texture of the cake is like almost like a. Uh, Almost like a malt loaf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a yeah, bit yeah. more malty than fluffy. I like that they've gone a bit different and yeah. that's plant based. I'm going to give that seven and a half. I'd give it another go maybe in the summer if I fancy something a bit not chocolatey but a bit more fruity. I'm going to say seven and a half because that's just as good, although very different to the blondie. Nice stuff. They're doing well so far. Mm, flying these through. items. I think we've only got two left. Yeah, two Three more left, things. Two. Should go for the cake. Yeah, what is this? The strawberries and strawberry cream. Strawberry and cream cake. There's a theme here. Isn't there is there? definitely a theme. The strawberry, especially in England, is definitely like summer. Or... It's the summer fruit. Okay. Oh, it looks kind of cute. Looks like a mini Victoria sponge. Yeah, that's an interesting shape. Should I just tear into yeah, it? Yeah, go on. Let's see what the inside says. I in. hope there's straw. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that looks all right. That looks good. Oh, again. Like golden sponge. Yeah, it just smells like a Victoria sponge to me, though. Mmm. Mm. I like that, that sponge. That is pretty good. It's like very like it's like a syrupy sponge. Mm. Not dry at all. No. Mm. Did they give us napkins? No. Yes. Hey. I think that's my favourite thing so yeah, far. Me too. And I'm pleasantly surprised because it's a little bit of an underdog. Yeah, it is. Like it's really understated. It doesn't look great, I'll be honest with you. And you'll be oh no, it's just a cake. I think special, but actually that's the winner for me. Mm. Although the Frappuccino is still the best thing. Okay. I do have high hopes for the last thing though. Me too. So last but hopefully not least, we have the iced raspberry swirl. Love a little swirl. Now I think we said earlier that like we really like their cinnamon, cinnamon swirl. Yeah. They're like a thick one. Ooh, ooh. Wow, that's a beast, isn't it? I do think sometimes these can be dry though. Feel that. Oh, you swing feel your solid until you get inside. I mean, how do you even go about this? I don't know. I, I feel like it needs a little tear. Shall I try and tear it? Oh, oh. Okay. You've done well there, to be fair. Now on the outside it does feel quite dry, but that is, that is not though. Is it not? Nah, nah. The inside looks great. Oh, it's not dry at all. It's not dry. Not dry at all. Inside it's like super soft, and the raspberry that's inside there's like a layer of like sharpness, and there's almost like a layer of creamy raspberry, mm. and it is delicious. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. I think I still prefer the cinnamon, but this is this is good. They've done well. Definitely don't judge a book by its cover. If it looks a bit dry. Give it a bite and see what it's like on the inside. Mmm. Very nice. nice. That's really good. That is good. The standard of all of this stuff has been pretty mm. high. I give that an eight and a half easily. Yeah. Uh, that's a decent. That's a decent bake right there. What did we just give that? The stra strawberry and cream cake. I think it was an eight. Mm. They're probably on par with them mm. too, though, right? I think they're actually both closer to like an eight and a half for yeah. me. Yeah. They're remember. pushing a nine. Don't get me wrong, they mm. are. For me, they're pushing a nine. They focused their efforts in the sweet bakery section and they've done really well. Yeah, definitely. Right, so we've tried the summer menu from Starbucks now, guys. If you have tried any of these things, please do let us know. Let us know what you like the look of or if you've tried them, what you like the most as well because I would recommend pretty much all of these I don't know. I'd, I'd recommend think, everything we tried. I would pass on the shortbread if you're, if you're unsure. Oh. My return buys would be... The strawberries and cream cake yeah. and the swell, the raspberry swell would be my top two and the drink. I would do all of that as well as including the coconut and lime. And if you're vegan, oh, yeah. it's definitely worth a try. To be fair, it is, it is pretty good. I hope, it is good. I hope that you get one with more 
lime curd distribution. Yes. Because I just got a wham of lime in my mouth. It's still, there's always bite. an element of risk with any sort of bake that yeah, is in there, course, I guess. Of but course. overall, very, very good. Really good, Enjoyed yeah. Enjoyed that very much. As we kind of do lead into summer and more and more summer menus come out, definitely let us know in the comment section down below or on Insta what yeah. summer menus you want us to try because there are so many that it's actually quite hard to choose from sometimes yeah. and uh, we could use your help. So definitely let us know. But I think for now, we will just call it there. Absolutely, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. As we said, please drop a comment down below, smash the thumbs up button, and also we'd love to have you on board. So remember to hit that subscribe button. We'll be back very soon with a brand new video. Until then, wherever you are, stay safe, and we will see you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Have a